Hey everybody, I'm BC Begley, and these are the news headlines for September the 12th, 2022. King Charles III joins procession behind Coffin as Queen's beloved Scotland leads Britain's goodbye. Cannons boomed, ceremonial bodyguards brandishing long bows escorted the hearse, and all eyes were on the capital of Scotland, a country close to Queen Elizabeth II's heart, but also a place with its own often uneasy relationship to the crown. King Charles III led a royal procession behind the coffin of his mother as Britain's late, longest-serving monarch traveled up the narrow, cobbled street of Edinburgh's Royal Mile from the Palace of Holyrood House to St. Giles Cathedral. Vice President Kamala Harris, Hillary Clinton, emphasized fighting extremism in attacks from within in Sunday interviews. Vice President Kamala Harris and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton sat down for interviews with NBC and CNN on Sunday and discussed the importance of fighting, quote, extremism and, quote, attacks from within. Mudslide traps drivers in Southern California as storms bring heavy rainfall over the region. A mudslide trapped multiple drivers in Southern California as storms drenched the region and brought flash flood warnings Sunday evening. Several motorists were rescued after their vehicles became stuck in a mud and debris flow on Pine Canyon Road in Lake Hughes area, which is about 65 miles north of Los Angeles, according to the L.A. County Fire Department. Sweden's far right makes gains in tightly contested election, results still too close to call. A group of right-wing political parties secured a razor-thin lead in Sweden's general election, according to early results and appear to be on course to defeat a left-wing bloc led by Swedish Prime Minister Magdalena Andersson. Tigrayan forces accept immediate ceasefire and AU-led peace talks with Ethiopian government. Forces in Ethiopia's Tigray region said they are ready to observe an immediate ceasefire and accept an African Union-led peace process to end a conflict with federal forces that has stretched for over nearly two years. Francis Macron urges Putin to withdraw Russian forces from besieged nuclear plant. French President Emmanuel Macron, one of the few Western leaders to keep an open dialogue with Russian Pre President Vladimir Putin since the invasion of Ukraine started, urged the Kremlin in a phone call on Sunday to withdraw forces from the besieged Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. NASA confirms a 310 long asteroid will fly past Earth today. Asteroids seem to have developed a fascination toward Earth. U.S. Space Agency NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory has announced that a 310-foot-wide asteroid called 2008 RW will fly past the pale blue dot known as Earth today. The rock from outer space is the size of a tall building and will simply pass by us. Scientists claim it will pose no threat to planet Earth. China plans three missions to the moon after discovering a lunar mineral that may be a future energy source. China is aiming to launch three unmanned missions to the moon after discovering a new lunar mineral that could be an energy source in the future. The space race between China and the United States is accelerating after Beijing's National Space Administration got the go-ahead to launch three orbiters to the moon over the next 10 years. It announced on Saturday. The news was first reported by Bloomberg. Three children are dead after drowning incident at Coney Island Beach, mother being questioned. Three children have died after being found unconscious on the Coney Island Beach early mo Monday morning. Their mother is being questioned by police. The children, a three-month-old girl, a four-year-old girl, and a seven-year-old boy, were rushed to the hospital by emergency medical service workers, but it was too late to save them. The 30-year-old mother of the children was located two miles away from the children, wet and barefoot, police said during a news conference. She was not communicative toward the officers. Chicago hit with most severe flooding in over two years. Chicago endured its most significant flooding in over two years, according to Ricky Castro, a National Weather Service meteorologist. The north side of Chicago was slammed particularly hard, with some portions recording up to five inches of rainfall. 
Other parts of the city got anywhere from three to five inches of rain, Castro said, and both O'Hare and Midway airports had recorded about one and a quarter inches of rain. Las Vegas official accused of killing reporter will remain in office and still get paid. An elected official who allegedly murdered an investigative reporter in Los Angeles will remain in office for months and still get his paycheck while he sits in prison. Clark County Public Administrator Robert Tellis was denied bail last week after he was charged in the stabbing death of Jeff German, a Las Vegas Review Journal journalist who had been probing Tellis's alleged misconduct in office. And those are the news headlines for September the 12th, 2022.